Hey guys, it's Alex with Hammond Watch. Uh, I'm here today with the Seiko SRPG15. This newer lineup or line of watches is commonly referred to as the Tortoise, which I think is a, a bit of clever naming. It's called the Tortoise because the case shape and design uh, is the exact same as the Turtle. Uh, it's just shrunken down just a little bit and then presented to you more as a, a land specific or, or field type watch as opposed to a straightforward diver. And when I talk about a pared down sizing, it is noticeable when you pull it out of the box. I, I didn't think it was going to be drastic, but it, it certainly caught me a little bit off guard. This is the shape and sizing that I really wanted when we did the, uh, or when they released the mini turtle that had the crown sticking out at three o'clock. Never really could fall in love with that watch. Uh, I think this is a, a much better execution. But so you're looking at a 42.2 millimeter case. The thickness is pared down a little bit as well at 11.8 millimeters. Uh, you do get the same 6.5 millimeter unsigned screw down crown that you would get on the turtle. It's undercut on the bottom and then you have cutouts on the top just to make sure it's extremely easy to operate, which it certainly is. You're looking at a 45 millimeter lug tip to lug tip. But at the drilled lug holes, you're really 39.25. Uh, so it really is a, a nice compact wear. The lug width itself is a standard 20 millimeters. So no issues with strap changes. And you probably will want to change this strap. It's not awful. Uh, it's just not my favorite. It tapers down to about 17 and three quarters. And then you're back up to 20 or yeah, 22 for the buckle itself. Uh, nothing super special here. This very much reminds me of the canvas straps they've used on their past field watches, except this one has a little bit more padding. Uh, it's about five millimeters thick as it enters the lug. And to be honest with you, it's just a bit stiff. I've been able to kind of bend this one around a bit and wear it a little while to the point where it's kind of comfortable. Um, but at the same time, I think an easy strap swap is really going to be the way to go with this piece. When you circle around to the back of the watch, you have a screw down case back. Uh, you're looking at general specifications around the outer ring of that case back. And then in the middle here where you would normally have the wave, you have some ground to air emergency signals. Again, just more tying into that field watch theme. It's not something I anticipate I'll use very much, but in general, uh, I think it is pretty cool that they went ahead and changed it so that they could keep everything on theme. So much like the strap and the case back, the bezel insert here kind of helps push this watch a little bit more towards a field watch than a straightforward diver. I do appreciate the aesthetic. I think it looks really cool, although I'm never going to use a, a compass bezel. Uh, essentially, so I'm in the northern hemisphere, you would point the hour hand at the, or in the direction of the sun, then the midway point between that and 12 o'clock would be south. And then I think it's just flipped for the southern hemisphere. I like the look of it. You know, the, the bicolor layout, I think, really helps to tie in that silver chapter ring. So no real complaints. It's just not something I, I ever really see myself using, uh, much like the, the land to air signals on the back. Moving in closer on the dial, you can see a few of the highlights of this watch for me. Now, first of all, you're looking through a flat sapphire crystal, which is wonderful, uh, especially at the price point you're able to pick these up. The second is this deep navy glossy blue dial. Uh, it looks black in some lights, blue in others, but it just looks really sharp. I also love this new handset, uh, kind of a simplified version of things they've done in the past. And then if you look at the loom plots, they're actually applied. Whereas on the turtle, they're pressed in through the back and then painted chrome to kind of have that applied appearance. These actually appear to be uh, glued onto the dial. And I think it looks really nice and classy. You also have that applied Seiko logo. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of back and forth on is that chapter ring. While it is beautifully aligned, which is a wonderful addition given my last few experiences with Seiko pieces, 
you know, I think it may have looked just a touch better if that were blue and had silver accents. But in general, I think it still fits the aesthetic as is. Uh, you have the Prospex X automatic, and again, a reference to that 200 meters of water resistance. Uh, this is the J model, so you see made in Japan on the dial, uh, which doesn't really mean anything to me. It's the same as a, a non-J watch. And then you'll also see a reference to the movement use, which is Seiko's 4R35. Uh, it's a three-hand and date movement. It's got hacking and hand winding, and the accuracy is plus 45 to minus 35 seconds a day, although this particular watch is running at about minus six. The loom on this watch is pretty nice. Seiko's proprietary Lumabrite is some of the best in the business. Uh, their blue color variant uh, is probably just not as strong. You don't get as vivid of a glow. Uh, it's not quite as long lasting. And then there is a bit of a kind of a, a faux teen or, or a yellowing added to this watch's loom that I feel probably hampers its brightness as well. Uh, that said, if you're comparing this against other field watches in the same price range, uh, I think it stands head and shoulders above the rest. Uh, it's just not the same as the full-size turtle. Here we are on my seven and a half to seven and three quarter inch wrist. And uh, I must say the watch fits wonderfully. I love Seiko Turtles. The, the undercut case design really helps things not dig in. And as you articulate your wrist around, it never really gets to a spot of discomfort. So this slightly smaller version fits in with that same category. Um, wonderful to wear. The profile is even slightly slimmer. You know, if you're a smaller wristed guy and maybe tried on a turtle and liked the aesthetic, but it was just a little bit too bulky for you, uh, this really is going to be a great option. So to help further illustrate the sizing of the tortoise, I wanted to go ahead and show it next to the 40 millimeter Hamilton khaki, because honestly, they wear very similar. The case shapes are different. The Hamilton appears smaller visually as the case kind of curves inward, whereas on the turtle, or sorry, the, the tortoise, it bows out. And certainly there's an extra couple of millimeters, but the lug tip to lug tip on the Hamilton is longer. And it also has a lot more dial, which makes the watch visually feel a little bit bigger on wrist. Uh, whereas this kind of silver chapter ring helps to really shrink the dial and make this feel like a, a more petite watch. I would view these watches as competitors as to me, the tortoise is much more of a field watch. Obviously the Hamilton's a little bit more classic in the aesthetic, but you do get a little bit more toughness with the Seiko with that added water resistance. So let's talk about pricing. Uh, retail is $510 USD, which I would not pay. Luckily, you'll never have to. Creation Watches offers this for around $450. Bucks. Joma Shop around $330. And surprisingly right now on Amazon, you can pick these up for around $280. Bucks. At sub $300, I think this is a tremendous value. Reliable Seiko movement, really good, strong, original case design by them. And then the elevated materials with the sapphire. And then that glossy, deep navy dial with the applied indices. I think you're really just getting a lot for your money. And I really couldn't be happier with this offering. Unless, of course, they would put it on a slightly better strap. But that's an easy swap. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing. I put watch content out weekly at a minimum, and I hope to see you in the next one.